On with Monday, St. Lucians at home and abroad, unified by their Christian faith, observe the National Day of Prayer and Fasting, Praise and Thanksgiving, declared by Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Chastney and the Government of St. Lucia. The observance featured participation from all faith-based organizations with church services, gospel performances, prayer, spoken word, and testimonies. In virtual form, the events were carried live via the National Television Network, partner stations, and through live streaming. In his address during the National Observance, the Prime Minister explained that given the challenges of the pandemic and tensions surrounding the upcoming general election, it was determined that the country needed to seek God. At the time we are about to embark on a general election, we need to invoke the virtues of wisdom, tolerance, and mutual respect and tone down the volume of the heightened rhetoric, senseless threats, and bickering and occasional tension that we have grown all too accustomed to. We need to thank God for His goodness towards us that we have not been overwhelmed by the virus. But we also need to understand we are still under the threat of the COVID-19 pandemic, and it remains a clear and present danger. We need to petition the Lord for His blessings so we employ the discipline and the practice that are designed to ensure our safety and the welfare of our families. During Monday's broadcast, various religious figures addressed the viewership on approaching the day seriously. Emmanuel Charles is the pastor at the Faith Baptist Church in Corinth, Grosley. Many are engaging in, in conduct that God does not like. And regardless how much we fast, today is the day of prayer and fasting, but if there is wickedness in our hearts, if there is wickedness in our intention, if there is wickedness in our behavior, God will not hear us. Even though we fast, God will call this a mockery. The 11-hour live broadcast of prayer and fasting, praise and worship was aired on week Monday.